Good afternoon, everybody. This is David Carranza, and this is my uh, first YouTube video. And I wanted to do a video on the review of a firearm. So before we get started, I'll show you that this gun is clear. All right, so my dad is a dealer here in the state of Texas, and, and normally I'd purchase my firearms from him, but I was at Academy and came across this one and I thought it was priced pretty fair. $329.99 is what I paid for it. So I added this flashlight here. It does not come with it. I uh, purchased it at uh, defendtech.com. I want to say I paid about 30 bucks for the flashlight. And for the price, man, you can't beat that light. Uh, it's super bright at night, has the straight and also the strobe on it. And the batteries last a good while on it. So go check those guys out at uh, defendtech.com. So I also laid a little bit of red inlay in the Smith & Wesson emblem there. Uh, the gun does not come that way. It will come black. So this gun is a right-handed gun. Uh, the whole whole bottom here is polymer. And you got your um, your finger indicator there. So it does not have a safety. Uh, this gun weighs 22.7 ounces compared to the SD9 VE weighing in at 24.3 ounces. This gun's definitely a little bit lighter, and I think it's uh, better built for sure. So this gun does come with a lifetime warranty. It does have the armor night finish on it. So it's it's basically a flat black, and it looks super sharp. And one of the coolest features about this gun is the high-vis fiber optic sights. And these things just glow. You got your red in the back and then your green in the front. Then you also have your bullet indicator or your live round indicator on top. It looks super nice. I think uh, Smith & Wesson did a good job as far as that aspect. So kudos to them. So it does come with two magazines, 16 and one. Uh, barrel length on it is about four inches. Uh, it is a double action pistol and I want to say it's about eight pounds. It's a uh, pretty steep, but it's a great training gun, especially if you're focusing on your reaction to the gun firing and all that. It's, it does a good job. It is a, uh, center fire pistol. Of course it's nine millimeter. It's 7.2 inches in uh, overall length. It's not too big. Um, like I said, I love this pistol. I've shot over 500 rounds through this gun and I've never had an issue with it, uh, fell in, with it fell into feed or failing to fire. I keep one in the house and one in the truck. It's a budget gun. Um, definitely well made for the price. I think Smith & Wesson did a really, really good job on this gun. So I know this gun's been out for a little bit, but I wanted to do a review on it anyways, because it is one of my favorites. Uh, leave any comments you guys might have and uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.